Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, ay maglilibot tayo sa iba't ibang parte ng Israel. Let's go! sa ating first stop the Gil Gulf So the Jordan River is there, somewhere there, okay, at the foot of the mountain. Somewhere and Joshua and the rest of the Israelites, they crossed the river mm -hmm. and they came into this place mm -hmm. and they lived here for 14 years. What is sad about this place is na vandalize na yung structure and hindi masyadong na maintain napakadaming responsible tourists sayang Welcome to our second stop, the Kasser al Yahud or the Castle of Jews. According to historians, ito daw Kasser al Yahud ay ang pinaka accurate na site of baptism of Jesus. Kasi meron din sa May Galilee, tawag doon Yardenit, kung saan tayo nagpabaptize three years ago. The baptism site, Kasser al Yahud. Welcome! Nandito tayo ngayon sa Israel. And sa kabila ay makita natin ang flag ng Jordan because that is the Kingdom of Jordan and in between ay ang Jordan River. Ngayon tatrayin natin hawakan ang water. which is na mentioned ko na kanina doon sa bus and the Lord Jesus Christ was baptized here and then pagkatapos ng baptism he was tempted by the devil at yun yung pupunta natin so balik na tayo sa ating bus dahil pupunta na natin ang ating next location by the way okay nasa vicinity na tayo ng city of Jericho known as the oldest and the lowest city in the world and Jericho came from the word Yiriyak, 
which means moon or and that's why this is called the city of the moon and uh, according to the legend the people living here in the ancient time they believe in a deity which is the god of the moon that's why they call this place jericho according to the god of the moon guys welcome to the city of jericho So makita natin doon nakasulat ang Mount of Temptation. So the Holy Spirit intentionally, purposely led the Lord Jesus Christ here in the wilderness. Libre, may free taste. Pwede po bang ikaman yung nagtitinda? Charas! May free taste. Please, everybody come, let's go with me. Everybody try and come with me here. Ang daming chinelas naman po ni Jesus dito. So, nakakaholy po yung mga footwear. Ayan, sasakay na tayo ng cable car. Kasama uh, natin ang ating mga kababay. Hi! Yes, we can win! Mabilis kaya sila, hindi sila mabagal. So, nag-stop po ang cable car natin. At sobrang init. Wala na raw. Taste ganda. Taste ganda muna. Hanggang mamaya daw po tayo dito. Yes. So, may ate girl tayong yes! sobrang init pero napaganda po ng view nandito tayo ngayon sa taas ng Mount of Temptation papunta sa uh, uh, monastery and uh, sana hindi masyadong mahaba yung pila Yo, napakaganda. Nakakalula. Yo, ang ganda. Hi. Hello po, yes po. Hello, hello. Hi, saring mga kababayan. Thank you. Napaganda. So, ito po yung Mount of Temptation. And, nakagawa sila ng monastery adjacent to it. Napaganda. Yung may mga sapatos talaga dito. Pero ang daming tao. Napakaraming tourist sign. Most of them are Africans. So, ayan. Nakita po natin. Uh, ang daming nagbibisis sa monastery na ito. Although, napakahirap i-access. Transform the stone into bread. Believed to be the traditional setting of the first temptation of Christ, where the Satan asked Jesus Christ to turn the stone into bread.
So, naririnig natin ang ating mga African brothers and sisters spraying na although I don't understand what are they saying, pero nakakapangilabot. Parang ramdam mo yung um, faith nila. And napaka-amazing ng monastery kasi nakita natin kanina sa panoramic view na it's adjacent to the Mount of Temptation. But they made it. I can't believe how they did do that. part ng mga ancient structures So nakasakay po tayo ng camel ngayon Ay, ito na po yung sasakyan ko Diretsyo ba sa bangin to? Look! Ang taas ng bangin! Guys, look at that view. So, akya tayo to see the Wadi Kelt. Guys, napakaganda. Parang Grand Canyon ng United States. So, 3 minutes daw na lakad. Wow! Ang ganda. Ang galing. Okay, I'll take a picture and then pagdating nila, mag-explain tayo sa ito. Parang... When there's a problem in our lives, sometimes it was God who allowed that problem to your life to teach you some valuable lesson in life. So you will learn to depend on Him. So you will learn to follow Him all throughout your life. Like the sheep, fully dependent on God. So that's the message, man. So welcome to the valley of the shadow of death. God bless you. And here is the big revelation. It's 6 p.m. here in Israel at napakaliwanag pa. At kakatapos lang ng ating amazing tour. And I'm glad na hindi lang ako yung nakapunta, kundi nakasama din natin ang ating mga kababayan. May mga OFW, may mga students, may mga tourists. And I'm glad na I've learned not only about the places, but also I've heard about different life stories of our kababayans. May nakilala ako na 22 years na dito at uwi na for good because she fulfilled her duties. And meron naman nakakadating pa lang and starting to build their dreams. And sana sa susunod, 
na tour natin ay maka meet pa tayo ng iba't ibang Filipino na nandito sa Israel and meron din tayong na meet from other countries may mga Africans, Indians and sana mas marami pa sa susunod na vlog don't forget to subscribe bye!